Welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Got some new tanks, what do you think? These are really dirty, really manky, and really weird. Let's have a look at them. So basically, they're two three foot tanks split in half. So they're one and a half foot by one and a half foot uh, by one and a half foot. So they're kind of 18 inch cubes. Um, but built into one big tank. They're a bit banged up, they're very dirty, uh, but they also slope from the back to the front, so they're taller at the back than they are at the front. And they have this little section in here um, at the back. They were used with a sump system, but they've been blocked off by the previous owner. Um, but I think I'm gonna use them as under gravel filters. I think under gravel filters are very much maligned these days because it's all about the newest, latest hang on backs or canisters or whatever. But for my purposes, under gravel filter is gonna work just, just as well. I have a few ideas of experiments to try with them. Um, so we'll see how we've gone with that. But basically we've got four new tanks for the princely sum of 10 pounds. It's my first ever Facebook marketplace win. I didn't have to haggle, I didn't have to argue, the person selling them was perfectly nice, there was no ridiculous demands. £10, old tanks, one of them might leak, I'll fix it. Fantastic! Um, as to what I'll use them for, I've not really decided yet, um, but the first job will be clean them up, make sure they're watertight, get them ready. Um, I have a few ideas, they're perfect breeding tanks basically, he was using them as angel breeding tanks. I've seen these tanks before, I keep seeing them popping up on Facebook, even as far as a couple of years back someone was selling a load of them, I don't know whether they were from a shop or somebody's big fish room, but I've seen them pop up with like maybe 20 of them and then six months later someone's selling three of them, and then six months later someone's selling two and then I found these ones, so I don't know what the history of them is. They're probably quite old, they've probably been resealed a few times, but they'll do the job for a fish room tank. There's a few chips and dings, so I might give them a bit of sanding down and make sure that they're not too dangerous. Um, but they're a decent size, like I say, 18 inch cube. That's your kind of perfect discus breeding size. Um, the angels I've seen picking away at each other and showing some signs, so we might try breeding the angels. Um, or something else, don't quite know yet. But anyway, let's have a, a bit of an attack of them, start cleaning them up and see if they're watertight at least. Step one is going to be leak test, quickly followed by step two, which is clean. So I'm gonna do nothing other than just use plain water, fill it up a little bit. I'm filling up the back section at the moment, that looks good so far. Fill up the front section a little bit, stop, give everything a good scrub, nothing but water and a sponge and a bit of elbow grease. See how clean I can get it, see how dirty it really is. Uh, and then I will fill it up some more, leave it overnight and see whether or not there are any leaks. As simple as that, uh, make sure, I will make sure that there's nothing that can get damaged should it leak. Um, but yeah, just get on with it now basically. I haven't seen anything too disgusting, it's mostly just old watermarks. Um, and mostly coming off with a bit of a scrub, so one couple of hours sorting this out and then we'll see how we get on. So it's been full for about an hour now, so far so good, it's as clean as I can get it with the amount of effort I'm willing to put in. Um, it's fine, um, I've been doing a few other jobs around the fish room while I've been waiting for this to fill and uh, so for instance I've got the lights mounted, I'm using some little hooks to keep them up and out of the way rather than the gaffer tape solution I had in the old fish room so I think that look a lot neater 
Uh, I'm going to mount all the lights on all the racks the same way. I've got them all on um, Wi-Fi timers now as well, so I can use my phone to switch them off, like so, and back on again. Um, I'll get all that hooked up to Alexa so as I can do that. I'll probably bring a, an Amazon device down here somewhere, uh, maybe have a TV so I can watch some fishy videos while I'm doing all my stuff. And one thing I have noticed is when I've got the light up and seen the, the water full, the silicon is very blue. Now that tells me, um, well, it's one of two things. Either someone at some point has used some blue silicon, but more likely, and especially as these were breeding tanks, some methylene blue has been used because quite often that will stain and dye your silicon. And as the last guy I got them from said he was using them as angel breeding tanks, using meth blue is a fairly common technique. Um, when you're trying to hatch eggs and raise eggs and get rid of any fungus and that kind of stuff. Not going to be a problem, it's not going to affect or leach out and um, have any harmful effects. It's just blue. Um, but it's fine so far. Touch wood. Nothing, no leaks, just some condensation on the outside because it's got very cold water. Um, I'll just go and finish all the rest of them off. But I thought I'd talk you through what I was planning for filtration. So, at the back of these tanks, there is a, a little box, basically. It's kind of six inches deep, the length of the tank. What I would have done in the past, or under gravel filters, things such as this. You put this on the bottom of the tank, you stick a lift tube in here, drop an air stone in, and pile it with your substrate on here. Um, I think they're fine. I think, I think under gravel filters are great. I just happen to have a lot of filter media, which is different types of filter media. I think I'm going to try and pimp an under gravel filter. And the way I'm going to do it is, I just happen to have bags and bags of ceramic rings, uh, bio home media, alpha grog, bio home big media, all kinds of stuff in here. So I'm going to fill those boxes with that and use that instead of gravel as my biological filtration media. And I'm going to use one of these so this in conjunction with this some egg crates so i've cut some egg crate to size i'm going to take one of these hang on sponge sponge filters with the sticky pads again really like these these are good for cycling through tanks take off the sponges but what you can do with these is i can twist twist and then what will happen is if I place this in the bottom, this on top of it, put all my media under here, that's going to create a little void that the water is going to be able to be drawn in through here, lifted up through here, spat out through there, and the water will filter in through all the media. So if I sit my Alpha Grog, my Bio Home, whatever it is, all on top of this, this is effectively going to be my filter, and that's the filtration. And I think that will work quite well. Think being the operative work. I'm going to try it, and we'll see how we get on, but I can't see any reason why it wouldn't work. It's not going to do much in the way of mechanical filtration. Um, I can see a potential problem in that if this was gravel and I just had gravel, I'd need some finer mesh here, but we could do that. And then I could just gravel back it, but as it's going to be biological mil uh, media, which is a lot coarser like this, I'll just probably have to take it out every now and again and give it a shugal and some old tank water to clean off any debris and stuff like that. But I think that will do the job. So I'll set it up and kind of show you it working, hopefully, uh, and you can let me know what you think in the comments. So it's a little hard to see until it clears up a little bit, but that's the basic idea is we have the lift tube there, obviously there's air running through that goes down underneath all the media so these are bags of media at the moment I might have to change that out for loose media just so as it can more tightly pack uh, but then the bottom of the sponge filter runs underneath the egg crate here so the water the point where the water draws in is here and the hope is that it comes and filters through all this media gets in there and then thrown out again and recycles and recycles what will happen is water is going to follow the path of leaf resistance so if there's a bit of a gap there if it's not tightly packed enough it'll just come straight down there in and back out again and go around most of the media so i think i'm going to pack it a little more tightly in around the filter itself so as the water is forced to be dragged in 
more through the rest of it. But in principle, I think the idea works. But like I say, it's just a test. We'll see how we get on. I may have pimped the under gravel filter, who knows. I've just got lots of little jobs to finish off. Um, I'm going to do some feeding, I'm going to tidy up some airlines, I'm going to run some more power cables and lights and things like that. I just thought I'd show you a little bit of what's going on as I fiddle and tinker with the fish room. Hopefully this is interesting on some level. If it is, let me know in the bottom. If it's not, let me know in the bottom. Let me know in the comments. Tell me, no, this is nonsense. Stop showing us this rubbish. Um, I'm guided by you. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you could click the subscribe button, click all the clickable things, that really helps me out. It all makes the biggest of differences. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next one.